you know, what's going on? Are you being kidnapped? And I said, no, I'm not being kidnapped. I'm going at my own free will. I want to get out. Um, I'm legal age. I'm allowed to move out of home. And they said, all right, oh, cool, okay, fine. We just thought, we just wanted to know. We thought you were being kidnapped. Your um, mother rang the Queensland police and said her son was being kidnapped and something. And what the, the Melbourne police were really friendly and uh, they actually contacted the Queensland police saying, oh no, look, everything's fine, he's going in his own will, uh, he's legal aid, so, and they let us continue, uh, alhamdulillah, you know, and um, from there we just spent, oh wow, okay, we're lucky here, you know, um, we, we, were, we were quite scared at the time because the police actually separated us and we, we weren't sure whether they were going to see each other again, but uh, after that um, we waited and after they let us go, uh, we waited in Melbourne for about an hour and um, we met up with um, Rehan and he went with us in the same plane and we went back to Perth and there we met up with uh, the other two brothers, Fahim and Sadaruddin and that's how it all happened. At the moment my, my main purpose is for me and Shahariya to go to Saudi Arabia, study there, give Dawah. I was a Christian in the past, and I used to, my actual sect of Christianity was Seven-day Adventist. Uh, I believed in it at the time. I, I used to go to church on and off. Um, but my, my grandfather, he was a quite a, my grandparents were quite strict Christians. Uh, my grandfather was actually sort of a pastor at the church. He sometimes gave sermons. Um, and they were, they were Seventh-day Adventists, they, they, um, what they believe in is similar to the Jews. You could say that they're Jew wannabes, they want to be like the Jews. Um, but it's sort of Christianity and Judaism mixed. Uh, they worship on the Sabbath, or Shabbat. Um, and, but they also believe that Isa salam, was the son of God, you know, stuff like that. That's um, shirk. Uh, that's actually one of the things they used to believe in. And, Despite being quite religious, that was my biggest ever sin, um, shirk. I used to believe that um, Jesus was God, Jesus was the Son of God. I used to believe that the Holy Spirit was part of God. And I used to believe that Jesus, uh, fourthly, I, could, I used to believe that Jesus was, uh, what did you say, my Savior for all my sins, you know, and this is one of the worst things anyone could ever believe in and I regret it all now Alhamdulillah I'm a Muslim um, but you know if I could go back and if I could be reborn again you know I'd want to be a Muslim from day one onwards and just throughout my whole life I just wish I would never I never believed in all that junk before According to me, I think that if I was a born Muslim, I'd take Islam for granted and I'd just go to the masjid and, you know, I wouldn't really think about it. See, being a Christian, uh, I do have um, uh, an experience of having another religion and uh, having another religion, knowing another religion, but um, I've got the experience of actually having a, uh, Islam brought to me and Islam defeating all other religions and me coming to Islam. I think, uh, I mean, despite me wanting to be a Muslim all my life, I still think that um, me coming to, myself coming to Islam after being a Christian, it was the best thing, you know, um, because I've, I know, I know I've known a religion basically my whole life and I've researched it, and for that religion of mine to be proven wrong, and Islam to be proven right above all other religions, I think that's that really um, has made me clear that Islam is the absolute truth. There's no other religion. There's only one God, Muhammad, Sallallahu is the last prophet of God. Um, yeah, that's it. Well, I didn't really tell um, anyone that I was a Muslim at that time. Uh, they've only just found out recently. Um, but they, my family did know that at the beginning of the year, I wanted to become a Muslim, but I, I had to keep that a secret. Um, in the end, I, I said, oh yeah, okay, I'm not a Muslim, don't, don't worry, I'm a single Christian, blah, blah, blah. But I was keeping it a secret. And when the September 11 thing happened, they just assumed it was us Muslims who did it. 
and they said things like, "Oh, see, look, look what these Muslims are doing to the world. You know, they were using the September 11 incident to try and scare me away, but I was just calm. You know, I, I wouldn't." I wouldn't let those bad thoughts get to me, you know. Um, I mean, there's no evidence that we Muslims actually um, did the events of September 11, but there is evidence that George Bush is at war at us Muslims in Afghanistan, and that's actually a good point um, raised by Dr. Nayak um, at one of his previous lectures during the past week, and I think it's a very good point and. There was actually、um, at that lecture. There was actually an American ambassador from Melbourne. He came up and said, he asked the first question at question and answer time. He asked the first question and he said,、uh, "Would you please、uh, give us your opinions on the attacks of September 11?" And he, this guy, was from Melbourne. He was an ambassador with an American accent. He was from America, and Dr. Knight just gave him. Most beautiful answers ever, and he was saying everything he was saying was true because there is no evidence that us Muslims did this attack on September 11. For all we know, it could have been George Bush who actually had people fly these planes in, you know, and just as an excuse to go and fight us Muslims.、Uh, there is no proof, but there is proof that George Bush is attacking us, and that was brought up beautifully by Dr. Nayak. <laughs> my, my, okay, my old name was、uh, Timothy. Timothy, T I M O T H Y.、Um, that's also a name in the New Testament.、Uh, Timothy, First Timothy and Second Timothy, the same name.、Um, that was given to me at birth.